Hello there, Internet Dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, I thought we could do some more Discord submissions. We have three today. It's not a very long video, this one, but you know what? I thought because of the lack of content I've been putting out recently, I thought I owe you guys something. So I picked the, the three ones that looked the, the most attractive, not in a weird physical way, but just like attractive to the to look. Well, I guess no. No, not pretty. No, what am I trying to say here? Attractive? That is not the right word, Ryan. I really need a dictionary. It's the ones that stuck out the most to me. There we go. That That's that's what I'm saying. But I guess you could say attractive. Same way. But I mean, sticking out doesn't also mean attractive. You know, you could stick out for the wrong reasons. You know, like having a massive nose or... So the first video we're going to be watching today is by Valox. This was sent in by Valox on my Discord. Once again, guys, if you wish to join my Discord, it's down below. You can submit me something scary in the Scare Bath submission channel. If I react to it, I will give you a shout out. So this is Happiest Day by Valox. It ends here. The after name will be burned down and forgotten at any cost. Everything has been recorded and documented on VHS to keep it away from the public. You'll find the other tapes at my place. Now that it's all over, you can tell the world the tragedy that unfolded under a name that will soon be forgotten. So this could be... The last one. This was, what, uh, October 31st? So Halloween night. So that's why it was recorded on VHS. I guess that explains it. To keep it away from the public. Here we go. The series uh, building up to this has been fantastic. And, yeah, Valox deserves a lot more attention than they're getting. And you guys should definitely go like and subscribe. Because whatever's in the pipeline next is definitely going to be good. I don't want to put that kind of pressure on you, Valox. But you're a very talented individual. So I have faith that you'll do good stuff. And this is a very good rendition of the um, Fazbear Frights. I think you've really captured the essence. What are you doing? Oh, vents. Ah, I got you. Are <laughs> you okay, man? Okay, so he's calling Henry. He's about to gas the place out. He's about to blow it up. Oh, by the way, I appreciate this, Valox. Actually, I, I think I, I told you that you could do automatic captions and then it, it will track it automatically with your script. And a lot of people will appreciate this, not being able to actually read what's being said. Evacuate people from the park. Stage is all yours. He's nearby. All right. Remember, you won't have long to reach the exit before yeah. the generator explodes. Good luck. Ah, man, this dude's got some heavy feet. Yeah, well. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, go back. <laughs> Damn, he took off. Wow. How is he not dead? Isn't the, um... Doesn't Pizzeria Simulator technically come after this? Right. Sorry for what? What is he gonna do? What does that mean? Oh my god, he's getting blasted! Damn, this dude sounds like a monster. What does that mean? What did he... <laughs> what in the name of Jesus just happened? 
<laughs> Why would you try and attack him? Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, you at what? You, you want to make sure he dies, but... He was an animatronic. An immortal... Oh, I don't know. Damn. Well, they must... I don't think that tape would... Surely that tape wouldn't survive. Oh, here we go. The good ending, right? The souls are free. Be free, my child. They're all free. The puppy. <laughs> yeah, That's pretty cool. You know, uh, I, I enjoy uh, FNAF VHS. Especially the ones that kind of bend the story to their own kind, uh, their own input on it. Uh oh. Cassidy's revenge. Also, Cassidy's still stuck in there. The Afton Archive. That was really, that was a really good series. I enjoyed it thoroughly from start to finish. I thought it was very, very good. Congratulations. I guess Kai is your name. If not, just just a random person's name in there. The end. Question mark? Question mark. There's going to be a question mark. There's not going to be a question mark. I thought he was going to do like a Sherlock Holmes. That was super dope. I really enjoyed that. Um, like I said before, guys. You should definitely go and subscribe to Valox. Because whatever is in the pipeline next will most likely be good. So the next video was uploaded to my Discord by Plague Sync, and it's called Family's Little Friend Commercial by Dark Mind. We've watched some videos by Dark Mind before. I think there was some kind of like, it was this one, yeah. Detective Jeff Albertson, Basewoods County Humanoid thing. I don't know if I've watched the identity test yet. I don't think I have. All right, anyway, this is Family's Little Friend. Introducing Family's Little Friend, crafted by Mr. Solomon, the puppet maker. Surprise your child with this wooden toy that will bring joy to your family. No, oh, talking of which, what, what's going on with Battington stuff? What, what happened there? Is there a new stuff, new stuff being made? Because I just, I was reminded of Battington stuff then. Introducing anyway. Family's Little Friend. Yay. Crafted by Mr. Solomon, the puppet maker. Jeez Louise, man. Surprise. Wait, is that the same guy from the... Hang on, go back. Is this him? Is it? I think it might be. Surprise your child with this wooden toy that will bring joy to your family. Yes. Now, at your nearest toy store. Yeah. What does it do? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez Louise, Papa Jeez. What's going on here? My name is Sean Connery, and, uh, <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> that's disgusting. Uh, what did that say? Be this family. Dad, from where did you get this toy? Uh, every time I turn off the lights, I feel like it's watching me. Uh. Oh, this is super well done. I like this. Cinematography's lovely. Ah! Uh-oh. Oh, God. Is that a plush trap? Skin a rink. It has, like, human eyes. It's super weird, man. Was it meant to be like a caterpillar? Colin the caterpillar or whatever it was called. <laughs> oh. So this is the face that a child makes in the in the frame of the their parents bedroom door when they've shit the bed. This is the face. <laughs> this is how they stand there in the door frame. My God. <laughs> Who makes these things? I am hooked though. Can't you see? 
I can, I've got eyes. They're all my puppets now. Oh, is this a similar thing to like, like the doll maker? The kill people or like, I guess it is similar to Battington as well. Look at that thing. Look at that mushroom tip. Family's little friend. Mr. Solomon's puppets. Is this going to be like a family's little friend? That was really, really freaking cool, actually. I really enjoyed that. Is that going to be like a thing? Is it is it linked to the, the other videos? Because they look very similar to the smiling man. I did, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Fantastic work. Guys, go subscribe. So the last one that we're going to be watching today is kind of a world premiere. 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 I'd hate to know what I sounded like without those effects. Just, oh, help! Help me! I'm about to go. All right, whoa. So the last video we're going to be watching, guys, is by Gemini Home Entertainment. And this was one of the first uh, channels that was my foot in the door to analog horror. I believe the first one was Local 58. But this was the one that really captured my imagination and really told a story that I found compelling. I believe it's about this kind of alien species that's found its way buried in Earth, like under like the ocean and in these cave systems. And they found their way into people and they've managed to mimic people and they're slowly taking over the Earth. And it's been a while since the last one. The last one I think was Shifting Tendons, I think it was called. But this one's called Old Bones. But yeah, this one's five minutes long. We're just going to jump straight into this. What's happening to the tissue is not only entirely typical for the disease is completely counter to it mm -hmm. instead of attacking foreign tissue it welcomes it the bones don't decay organs blindly fuse oh. Olds, fester, and tissue refuses to die wow it is hypermetastatic so the, these little tendons that we've been seeing in in the videos uh if you go back and watch gemini home and Simon, there's like these people and they're like they have their these red kind of vines coming out of them. So those are bones that are coming out of them. That and they just keep on growing. Most analogous to a tumor. Okay. I would not speculate on the states of the minds within. Wait, oh, so it's like a locked in kind of syndrome. Where you can feel it happening. Oh, that would be nasty. Selected excerpts from the journal of Glenn A. Arthur. 1935. I have seen a vision. Hang on, let's just do this one. Hello. Oh, well, what can I say? Except... Heavenly visitors. Okay, so something came from and like hit a mountain or something. 1935, angels visited me while I slept. Interesting. So these are like a, a, an alien race kind of thing. Oh my goodness. The men in black. Those eyes are so far apart, man. It's like that act, actress. What's her name? Queen's Gambit. I, f I think she's attractive, you know. But I'm just saying. She's got some wide eyes. Who am I? That the hosts of heaven would commune with me. Do they not believe in alien? The unconscious mind is a door, and I hold the key. Oh, dream speakers, name yourselves. <laughs> He's about to get a probe up the ass. Uh, vision from my angels. A half-living thing grows outside camp. Half-living. Oh, is it the thing in, like, in the trees? Yeah, it's the tree, like... Something to do with the trees. And then there's like a human inside of them. A statue carved in their likeness. Arms reaching out like a child's. A statue. It looks like a tree. I have been offered a new covenant. Man. This is pretty intense. My hair's... What is going on with my hair? May 1941. Deal is sealed.
So, the, the, some kind of alien species came down and like, I think they, what, they, they look like trees, but they're not trees, and then they can infect humans. So that I'm guessing the goal is to just take over the earth with these things. I'm guessing it's a, dom a domination thing and, you know, multi-planet species. They move on, spread their seed and move off. Deal is broken, 1946. There's bears in these woods. Oh God. That's what that's how I turn when I, I touch something soggy and when I'm doing the washing up. Okay. Something infecting the brain. Wretched hands tap my window. A stranger's fangs scrape the walls. Sleep beneath the feeding grounds. Cancer shares a dream. What? Jack heard it again. There is a voice from space. Jack, do you see me? I've become something else. I am still in here. Relic of the faithless day. Don't leave me, you bastards. Old bone grows. Old bones. That's the title of the video. Let's play the credits now. So some kind of deal that these aliens came down aliens i don't know what they are these this extraterrestrial thing came down kind of like an explosion almost and this guy tried went to make a deal with them but it was a highly religious man thinking that they were angels or something and they probably took advantage of that and um started spreading their seed or spreading their bones whatever the hell it is you know the the mimics. Remember the, the the famous kind of. Um, I know I joked about playing this, Help! but technically that that the most iconic moment from this series was the kind of like mimic cry of a guy looking really unnatural, screaming for help. What's that? Is there something up there? Ugh. Oh my god! Uh -huh. So they're stuck there. Brilliant. And this was back, what, back in the... Oh, he's gone. Oh, damn. So, I'm guessing this was in the same place where there was that game called Bad Omens or something like that, uh, that they actually released for you to play. I'm guessing where this happened is where that takes place, like the, the kind of camp area, of the cabins and stuff. That's probably where they landed. That's probably where everything began. And then they slowly spread outwards. And I'm guessing that guy there was probably one of the first victims of that deep rot or deep root disease or whatever it was called which is horrible to think it might, like there's locked in syndrome where you can't move but you can't move or do anything you can't even blink your eyes but you're stuck in your own mind you you, you have nothing but your thoughts that's i can't imagine how terrifying that would be but then there's that and then there's things growing out of you and you just obviously being in pain and not being able to control it that would be terrifying to me. There we go, guys. That was Gemini Home Entertainment. That was super good. You guys should definitely go subscribe. I'm not sure. They, they literally upload like once every six months or so. But when they upload, it's definitely worth it. That's for sure. If you haven't seen the rest of the Gemini Home Entertainment series, I strongly recommend you go watch it from the start. It's really good. I could probably do a catch up myself. Oh, that was uh, submitted, by the way, by S. Dot, dot, dot. I completely forgot to say at the start but yeah i do appreciate the submission but yeah there we go guys i hope you did enjoy this video if you did why not leave a like rate and subscribe check out all the content creators down below and yeah hopefully i will see you guys on the next video take care guys